are the National Center for Children's Illustrated Literature, NICL for short, because that's a mouthful. And so what we do is we tour and preserve original picture book art for children. Children are the perfect readers. They're the ones that are so invested. I'm really excited that this space is here for, specifically for children. Why was that important for y'all to do to focus on the kiddos? We've been here for 25 years, and so we really try to make a unique space for children's picture books. And we, we love having children in our galleries and have lots of programming for children and families, um, not only in Abilene, but across the state. Instead of just being a bookstore, we're really trying to hone in and make it our museum's gift shop. So, the book is the gateway to the all book of is those the gateway. other yes. things. Yes. yes. We'll pick up an ice spy okay. and let's enter Brian's magnificent garden. Brian Lees is the author and illustrator of The Rough Patch. So what we like to highlight is the artist, not just the author. This I Spy is for families and children to, to use and go through all of the art and, and basically find little pieces in it. I know this is meant for children, but this is really I fun. <laughs> I'm having fun doing my eye spy already. Yes. And that's just another perk of Nickel is the interaction that kids can experience. You know what though? I'm gonna count this as transportation because the squirrel is riding on the duck's back. So transportation. Welcome to the stage at the historic Paramount Theater. Oh my goodness, George, this is something, isn't it? It is, but that's still the best view. It was built in 1930. It was just a movie theater back then until the late 80s. And then they restored the building, a full restoration in the 80s, and then made it a performing arts center. So now we do opera and ballet and plays and musicals and movies still. We do all kinds of stuff. In Abilene, Texas, it's dead center of downtown. It's on Cypress Street. That marquee has 1,400 bulbs. It lights up downtown. So it, it's kind of iconic in town. And everybody knows about the Paramount. We're on the set of Sweeney Todd right now. I can't wait to see the performance. Well, this is our 30th annual summer musical and it, it serves as the biggest fundraiser for the nonprofit every year. But we do this, we do a junior musical with the kids every year, we do a play every year, and then we serve doing all kinds of other things. So as soon as this show is done, we'll move it out and we'll have a concert coming in. Season 7 of Yellow Texas isn't done yet. More from downtown Abilene after the break. Wearing a hat is all about confidence. Yeah. To me, it's not just a hat. It's a piece of art, and then it's also something memorable. Welcome to Brimstyle. I'm Shay. I'm Denise. Nice Thank you so much you. for having me. This place is so cute. Awesome, thank you. But as you can see, I don't have a hat on my yes, head. Yes, you need a hat. Can we fix that? We can fix that. <laughs> okay. I can make anybody a hat girl. So. Perfect. And what I usually tell people is just to kind of pick your base and we can always layer. A matchbox on it? That's pretty interesting. Okay, Shay. Okay, what all did you find? I did some damage. Yay. I found a little bit of everything. You really have unique pieces yes. here to embellish your hat. But before we start, will you tell me about Brimstyle? Yes. 
So um, my mom passed away five years ago and she was a collector of all things, including lots of jewelry. And so I have tubs and tubs and tubs of yeah. earrings, brooches, necklaces, a little bit of everything. <laughs> That's kind of where it started from. It just keeps growing. Peacock feathers has a lot of meaning. It's in my logo. Um, peacock is strength and beauty, and that's the way my mother was, and so I try to honor her in that too. And so, you know, we can just do something as simple as that. <gasps> How fun, Shay. Oh, that's gonna make me feel some sort of way. <laughs> I'm gonna be walking around here like I own the place. <laughs> oh, that's great. Grain Theory, there's three of us that kind of envisioned this years ago. We brewed for years and years and years and entered a lot of competitions and decided that, you know, we really wanted to, to open our own brewery. And we just felt like this would be the perfect thing for downtown Abilene. But yeah, talk about the perfect space. You see all the brewing process, you yes. see the kitchen, and then you have that beautiful patio that overlooks downtown Abilene, and then throw in some coffee, oh, yes. food and beer, and yes. they're happy. Yes, uh, we've got coffees right now from Ethiopia, Kenya, Guatemala, Costa Rica, Papua New Guinea. We've got lots of different origins. So there's a lot of other flavors out there that folks don't understand. Uh, we're trying to bring that to Abilene. What's the process you have back here? Well, okay, that's the beauty part about uh, being a home brewer is yes. that when you gotta go to that next step, all you're doing is the same thing you've been doing for years except on a larger scale. And as we went, the monster just got bigger and bigger and we decided we had to add a kitchen and we had to add the coffee side and we had to add the event space mm -hmm. in the back. He's kind of the star of the show. Okay. A lot of our menu is based on Belgian frites. So Belgian frites, the kind of difference between those and just french fries yeah. is they are thick cut. We fry them twice. Talk about uh, variety. <laughs> yeah, we created nine different sauces. We do tasters here where okay. we, you can get four ounces of any beer we have on mm -hmm. there. So this is our hazy. I say this one for the last because it's got the most flavor yeah. and it's got the most punch. Some days I just really enjoy my job. And yeah, today no is one of them. That's delicious. Yeah. Well, I'm enjoying my time here. Well, great. I'm glad you came in. Thank yeah. you. Cheers. Cheers.